The night's young And it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine We wanna chase the night Hello everyone, I'm Jay. I'm Val. And today we're in St. Louis, Missouri at the Americas Center. And we're here for one thing and one thing only. And what is that, Val? We're here for the Oddities and Curiosities Show 2024. So, what are you looking forward to today? Everything weird. I am so excited. I love these shows. I've always got to find the spooky, macabre, interesting things to bring home. So when our friends come over, they look at me like, you're really weird. Um, I look at Valerie and say, you're really weird every single day. Uh, they only come over once in a while. But uh, yeah, so come along with us as we Jay and Val around Oddities and Curiosities 2024 from the America Center in St. Louis, Missouri. So check out Krampus. You know me and my Krampuses. This is amazing. They have these little imps. They come in all different colors. Aren't they adorable? I think everyone needs one of these. Thank you, I appreciate that. So then you've got a couple of other things over here, Jay, that you gotta check out. Look at the bat in the coffin. I think he is just absolutely adorable. I love the facial expression on him. That makes it even cooler. And then right above him, you have the mushroom guys. The detail on these things is absolutely amazing. These are so adorable. They have so many things to choose from here. I don't know what I want. Now for me, these masks are out of this world. Check out the stuff here. These are creepy and gorgeous at the same time. I don't know how they pulled it off, but they surely did. How's it going, guys? Check out this one, it's an owl. But man, that is so cool. This is really cool too. I thought this was a Wendigo at first. Uh, they said no it's not, but they are sculpting a Wendigo. So the next time uh, you might be able to see their boot, maybe they'll have the Wendigo with them. These are fun. 
Yeah, thanks, man. All oh, resin cast or? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, different types of resin. But yeah, and then I do some silicone, uh, silicone stuff too. And I do some other pieces I don't have here, but they're uh, probably your. All right, guys. Too, so. You got to check out this booth. This is one of our friends. This is Doug Schaefer's booth. What? He is the art guy, and we love him. And he brought his Adatikis. He brought his baby mugs, I guess, with the with the baby hands. And he also brought some of his drawings, his art today. So let's take take a look at all of it. So check this stuff out, guys. I mean, this is amazing. This is all done in molds. He works. 4,000 hours a day. He has no time to himself. He has nine jobs. And check out everything that he puts out. The babies are creepy. The arms, the arms are creepy too, but I mean, check out. Look, you can hold this by the arm. It's crazy. So, some of them have handstands. <laughs> oh my goodness. And Ouija boards. So they're oblong. <laughs> So you, I put an extra hand on the back to hold to stabilize them. This one you can summon demons with your baby mug. <laughs> We're or, friendly ghosts. Or if your relatives are really into coffee, you can you know talk to them while you're drinking. <laughs> Alright, so check out this section here. This is of the Adatikis. And he brought some coffins. He has a whole stack of Skeletons, pumpkins, witches. Halloween three. Halloween three. Yes. We have. I'm calling him Bobo the monkey. It's a jolly chimp. But he's a jolly chimp. This is really cool. That's an f bomb. And it says f bomb on the back. It has a wick. It's a coconut skull that has a wick in it. But the original one, the wick part was for your straw. But it still says f bomb on the back. That is awesome. Now guys, this right here is actually giving me the creeps. And, oh my goodness, it's it's a rocking head. Oh my, is, is it a bobblehead? Nope, it's a rocking head. Well then, then the piggy coffee mug, you set him on your ears, his ears and his nose, and then you use his ear as a, coffee, as a handle and you cut, drink your coffee. The only piggy I have, so I had to put him up front. Doug, he has such an imagination. I mean, you have to check out his stuff. You've got to go and check out all of his social medias. You've got to buy his stuff, man. This is the top of the line. I mean, it's so creative. You've got to buy his stuff. And I'm not on any drugs. <laughs> I don't even drink caffeine anymore. Three books of art, so you can get the Year of Horror from 2016, the Year of Skulls from 2018, or Monsters and Rock from 2020. And I have all the prints, while well, some of the prints. Here's some of the originals, so you can actually see all the originals. I made some of them into soap, so now you can get sketches and soap. So you can get Jason, the scented blood orange, and you can you can lather up with Jason, or you can lather up with David Bowie from Labyrinth. Did you always want to lather up with the Goblin King? And this soap bleeds. Uh. Alright guys, so one more section for Doug. I just said, we're giving him the business today, right? So this is all of his art. We did Check out all of the different uh, sketches and prints and all of his drawings. I mean, just look at this right here. This is the cast of what they do in the shadows which is really, really cool. I really like Daddy Munster. He's the best. I call him Fred. Here is all of the skeleton stuff. Look at this. Captain Spaulding. That's a crazy Mickey Mouse. And he even has a skeleton Griswold. Everybody freeze! 
And then last but not least, our hometown favorite, Vincent Price. He was in front here. An original Vincent. Hey Val, does this bring back any memories? Yes, I actually bought that three years ago from him, not even realizing who he was. Isn't it amazing how over the course of a few years you can uh, meet people that you've already met and now I call him one of our friends. and strong protection. I carry that one on me a lot. You have your fluorite. Your fluorite is good for creativity, change, new beginnings, peace, protection, and self-love. That's another one I try to keep in the house for us. You have your bubble ja your bumblebee, bumblebee Jasper. You have your Caribbean calcite, and this one I know I'm going to slaughter it when I say it, but your malaxite, this is a good one to have, and you can never go wrong with quartz. You always carry quartz with you. So one of the other great things here at this booth, you can adopt a frog. These are absolutely adorable. Come check these out. Well, that one's like on like Black Friday weekend too. It's like 11, 25, 24. Are these not adorable? Yeah. It's like the day after Black Friday. You can take your own little frog home that will live forever and ever and ever. I have to travel. So, I, I love that one at the very top. This one is absolutely adorable. I have a small job. I have a small work. So guys, check out this booth here. This is P. Artidermy. We saw these guys in Chicago last year and they had the Genicorn, which was really, really cool. But check out some of the stuff they brought here to St. Louis. This right here, this is an antelope, right? And check out the detail inside. They've got little mice in there. They've got a country store. It's actually a little creepy town in there. And look at all of the uh, the miniatures and all of the scenery. It is something else. 
And check out this monster right here. I'm not sure what type of animal it is, but just look at all the miniatures and detail inside of it. It is outstanding. So hey Jay, check this out. We're at Shadow Miss. And this artwork's amazing. It's gonna be different to some people and how you interpret it, but on the back of each one of these art pieces is a story. And it's absolutely awesome. One of my favorites is this one. So this one here is about trust, and it gives you a whole story on what the background of this is. So the other thing he has here is he has books and cards that are inspirational for daily use. On the cards, you pick a card out every day, and it gives you a little inspiration, and it gives you a sentence from each one of the pictures that he's done. He's actually got two decks out right now on the cards, and he's working on his third. So check out this booth right here. This is Fern Way, and in German, it means Wonderlust. This is their QR code. Pause the video and check out all of their information. So mom, we're at Fern Way, and you had something to point out to me? Oh yes, there's globes here with miniatures in them, and they're beautiful. Well, show me a few. This one here, it's really nice. <laughs> that one over there I really love. And this one down here. And this one up here. Look at it, it's got Kentucky Fried Chicken. So guys, this is so cool. Look at this. Daggers through the heart. This is all wall hangings, I guess, right? Wall yep. art? Mirrors? These are really cool. Look at these octopus tentacles.
Check this out. This is really cool. These are cicadas. doesn't want a scorpion on the wall. <laughs> These things right here are amazing. These are uranium scorpion domes. Oh my goodness, check this out. How can their prices be so firm, but yet their butterflies are so delicate. Scarf. So guys, check this booth out. This is One Man Riot. All of his stuff is black light, so it's really, really cool. Let's check out all of these prints. They are amazing. Right up at the top, we have Make Music, Not War. We have The Creep Show. That's pretty gross. Over in the corner there, we have some Beetlejuice. I think it's a sandworm. Rob Zombie's The Munsters. Everybody loves a spider walker once in a while. So, Valerie, now do you know what Silent Night, Deadly Night is? I do now, but I still haven't watched it. Valerie, I just saw somebody roll their eyes so much, they almost fell backwards. We also have Camp Blood, which is Jason, right? Look at that in 3D. And we are in the town of the Dancing Clown. So hey Jay, check this out. We're at Ghost of the Woods. This stuff is absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Come look at it. Alright, first off, I'm taking this one, Val. So is this a bat? Or is this 
a cat? Or am I Dr. Seuss? Valerie, go. It is a cat, Jay. Eating a bird. And then this one here is called Patience. And they cut out each individual piece, glue it together. This stuff is absolutely gorgeous. The work that goes into it is amazing. And then you have your little dragonflies over here and your fish bowls. So hey Jay, this is another one of their 3D art. And this is the Curiosity Shelf. This is absolutely amazing. You've got to come in closer and look at everything. So they have your octopus. They have your vials with the skulls and the snakes. They have your hand with the tattoos on it in the jar. I love the frog there with the mushrooms. You've got your jackalope and your crystals and your bat hanging upside down. Guys, check out this booth here. This is Odds and Ends. All of the art is done by Chloe Grass. It's got all of these like sideshow type uh, pieces of art. Check out some of this stuff. It's really, really cool. You have the double-headed lambs. Check out this bear right here. I mean, he's got some bear necessities. A double-headed deer. Check out this one here. This is an owl. And they even have a double-headed snake. out this joke is for the birds okay so we just made it home from the oddity and curiosity show and I have to show you my haul I only bought a few things but I'm excited about some of them so my first one is from Raven Dark Creations they're the ones that have the mask, the imps, and the really cute mushroom guys. So as we're walking around the table, I found my Krampus. These are really cute ornaments. The detail on this is amazing. Super excited to put it on my Christmas tree and put it on my Halloween tree. Can't wait to be able to put that back up again. Super excited. So the next thing I got was from... Shadow Myth, and this was the guy that had the pictures that when you flipped them over, they had the story behind it. 
and he had so many amazing different ones that I wanted to get. So what I did was for now, I settled on one of the card sets that he has. And every day that you pick one out, it's a different inspiration. So I'm super excited to use this. Who couldn't use some more inspiration in their life every day? I need it. Believe me. <laughs> um, so one of the next things I got, I feel so bad because I cannot remember the name of the booth that I got it from. But I'm super excited about my new little hair clip. It's a frog. I love frogs. Super simple. Metal. So it's heavy duty. So I like that better than the plastic ones. But it's just a real cute frog. Opens up to put in my hair. Super cute. So then, so then when we walked in, of course, the Oddity and Curiosity, they have their shirts and their bags. So I bought a couple of things from there. I got one of their stickers. I'm making a sticker wall for all the different places that we go that we pick up stickers or um, from the different booths or from the different vloggers that we get stickers from. So I'm super excited to start that sticker wall. And I got an Oddity and Curiosity one this year. And you always got to get a bag to put your goodies in. So I had to get an Oddity and Curiosity bag. Isn't that cute? And then I really like some of the shirts that they had, but this one really stuck out to me. So it's got nice color, gold and turquoise on it. And I'm always about the long sleeve for me because I get cold in the fall and stuff. So for this, I'm super excited. So another booth we visited that I got something for, and this one wasn't for me. I actually bought Jay something for a change. Not quite sure what he's going to think of it. Might be a little bright for him, but I'm going to make him wear it. So this is from Love, Pain, and Stitches. And I actually picked up one of their stickers to put on our sticker wall. Super excited. These guys were amazing. She hand makes these purses and some of the clothing that she has. The purses are awesome. When we did our Oddity and Curiosity last year in Chicago, I actually got a candy corn purse from her. Absolutely loved it, used it, and she actually gifted me one. And so I turned around and I had to gift it to somebody because it's all about paying it forward and showing people their work. And actually this year, the girl I gifted it to actually went back to her booth and bought another purse. So I love playing it forward. So Jay's gift. Should have taken it out of the bag. I hadn't done that yet. He is going to be all ready for Halloween this year. Look at that. Nice bright hearts and teeth and candy corn and eyeballs. Hands. So he'll be ready for Halloween this year. He may have to take this up to halfway to Halloween when we go. Okay. Only a couple more things, guys, I promise. So another booth we always love to visit is Doug Schaefer. He's the art guy and Atatiki's. Always love talking to him. He is so much fun to talk to. This year, I got some more cards from him. And it's funny because the first year we went to Oddities and Curiosities, I actually bought some of these for my kids. They loved them. And I never realized it was him. Through the years, we've gotten to know him. And we talked to him at all the different shows. But check these out. So my first one is Slimer. My next one's just a really cute skull and a candle. I like this one. This one is my Grumblin guy. Who couldn't use a Grumblin in their life? And the last one is my favorite one of his. The hometown boy, Vincent Price. Doug is an amazing artist. He does such great work on these. I actually have a couple of his other ones back behind me on my curiosity wall. 
So I'm super excited to add some more of these to it. So going to the oddity show, one of my friends wanted to go but didn't have anybody to go with. So she met up with us and we kind of got to walk around the floor, see everything. She was buying a couple of things. She found some really cute stickers for me. This one says Chronic Spook Babe, Spooky Babe. And this one is just a little haunted house with three ghosts. And when I saw it, I thought it was cute because it reminded me of the three boys that we have together. So last but not least, from Prism Moon Designs, they had some really great rocks. They had the pet frogs. Love their booth. Um, been trying to find them at a couple of the shows we went to. Could never figure out where they were at. So I was super excited that we got to go this time. And I got, if nothing else, it's a conversational piece. I'm not into the Ouija boards, but I got one of the spirit ones. So, can't spell things out, but it can tell you yes, no, maybe, or unknown. So I had to get one of those. And then, of course, I had to get the little crystal pendulum to go with it. So, going to have to play with this, just kind of see, ask some questions, see what happens. So that is everything that we got at the Oddity and Curiosity Show. I'm going to have to use some of this magic on Jay to find out some questions. But I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. Alrighty. As you can see, we made it home. We're not at the America Center anymore. But that doesn't mean that oddities and curiosities is it over. So Val, did you have fun? I had a blast. It was so much fun. We had Jay's mom with us, a friend of ours met up with us to walk it because she doesn't have anybody to go to the strange and unusual things that we like to go to. Um, found lots of goodies, brought a few home. Always more that I want to get, but you know, Jay says I have to live on a budget. She doesn't live on a budget. She's just saying that because the camera's on. Um, what I found though was it was smaller than I remember um, we didn't go last year. We went two years ago. And it seemed like there was more vendors to fill up the space. Uh, still very cool vendors. Um, some different. Some the same. Um, and uh, last year we went to Chicago, which was a, a whole different type of event. It was way bigger. So all of the different vendors came out for that. So... That's why we saw some of the same people here in St. Louis. But overall, very good event. And um, Valerie, you got a pretty good haul, right? I did. Jay even got to get a couple of things, or one thing um, that he didn't know he was getting. So No, I didn't ask for it. No. No, I just got it. So, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and help us get to a thousand subscribers. It'll let you know when the next video is coming out and it'll keep you in the loop. So we want to thank you for coming along with us and hanging out at the Oddities and Curiosities Expo 2024. We want to thank you for Jay and valing around with us.